So now we're going to get the payoff. We're going to actually make a natural language in, in inverted index with Postgres. And it's way simpler than everything I've done so far. Again, the key is you have to understand where the TS vector works and how the TS query works. But once you understand what those do, stemming, stop words, etc., it's pretty straightforward. And again, I'm working from www.pgfree.com slash lecture slash 05 full text SQL. So um, I don't know, I might have to drop this table. We'll drop the index and then we will recreate them. Yeah, it did not exist. So we'll create our documents, which again has just an ID and a document text field. Um, and then we're going to create a, this is the cre criti critical one. We're going to create the, a, an index named gin1 on the docs table using the gin and the index expression is 2ts vector quote English quote comma doc. So that says take the document column, run it through a ts vector with the English English dictionary, and then give me a reverse index for everything that makes it through. Stop words, lowercase, um, and stemming are all done. So if you look at this, the earlier thing I did that was just strings was actually harder than doing a inverse index. So I'm just going to run it. Boop. And then I'm going to insert some rows, insert my three rows in there. And then I'm going to insert some filler rows to make sure that that Postgres knows we're serious, so I did the generate series, insert 10,001 rows of neon and some numbers. And remember, it might take some time. It might take some time to get things to work. So I can, you know, I can do a, a select ID doc from docs where 2ts query is matched. It matches the 2ts vector of English doc. And again, look at the where clause and the ex, the indexed the expression that's being indexed is two underscore ts vector using English dictionary the doc. That is exactly the same as what's inside of the gin expression, right? So we created the index, that expression. So we generally know that the kinds of things that are going to use the indexes are the ones that end like that. Now you can create more than you can you can create more than one index, and you can create more than one index with a more than one expression. You can do a lot of things with these things. Um, but of course, the cost of the inserts and the queries, uh, you know, your, how much space the index is taking, how much cost for each in, invert index. And let's go ahead and see if our index, while I was talking, blah, 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 let's do a query explain just to see if it's, if it's made it yet. Yep, <laughs> I, all the inserts in that time frame, it was able to process um, 10,001 uh, documents and insert them. Um, so let's let's do something really. Uh, I don't I don't know if it'll be interesting or not. Um, uh, probably not. So let's let's just try it. Let's just try it. It's we're going off the script a little bit. So I got this create index gen one. I'm gonna drop drop index gen one. So now it's gone. Ooh yeah. Drop index gen one. Index is just data that the database has, so you can get rid of them. And now I'm going to do my explain. Away it goes. Okay. So now I am going to create a gist index that does the exact same thing. So I'm going to copy this line, create index gen one on docs. And the only change I'm going to do is I'm, on the using, I'm going to say using gist. Now, the thing about the gist is that it is. Uh, and by the way, all those rows are still there. We still have 10,004 rows in. So the question is, how fast can a just, just vector, a, a just an in, inverted search tree, how fast can Postgres make one of those versus how fast it can make gin? Because the, the main advantage of just is that it's easier and quicker to make and maintain, um, and it's smaller. But it, you might have to re re retrieve a few more blocks of data. Um, so what I want to do is create the index and then see sort of how long it takes before the explain starts to work. So the explain, the explain instantly worked. Do you see that? As fast as I could type it, the gist was there. Now let's do it again. Drop index gen1. Get rid of that one. Now it's gone. 
Now I'm going to make a gin index. And we will see if we can catch it having not yet been indexed. So I just made it a gin. The index expression is the same. Gin and gist both know this TS vector like perfectly. So I'm going to create it, and then I'm going to up, I'm going to, then I'm going to do the explain select again. Boom, 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 explain select. Oh, it was too fast for me. So I didn't get to show you. It made the gin really fast as well. But I wish I could have showed you that the gist happens faster than the gin. You get the same rows back because the gin takes care of, of all of that. So it's really quite straightforward. The goal is to get to the point where your explain doesn't do a sequential scan. That's all we're trying to do. Okay, so I, I hope you found this uh, useful. Cheers.